afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with the Simpler Stocks free video for the weekend edition, January 30th. I can't believe it's already January uh, 30th on Monday. Uh, it's about 15 minutes before the close. Uh, today was all about a muted reaction to Google's earnings, but some other stocks in the NASDAQ sort of picking up the slack, so to speak. So right now, with 15 minutes to go, yeah, the ES is down all of 625, led a little by the airlines. If you ever want to know how to find what's pulling something down or pulling it up, just go over here on the right in Thinkorswim and go to public. And so if you want to see like uh, public S&P 500, go and put all the S&P 500 market by net change. And you'll see what is pulling the S&P down. As you see, it's only down six. What's holding it up? Wind Resort, CR Bar, General Dynamics, Regeneron, a lot of the pharmaceutical stocks, and a lot of the LAM researches in the world. That's what keep, it's keeping us from being way down. What do those have in common? They're also in the NASDAQ. Go to the public and put in NASDAQ 100. Look at these big old moves in ISRG, Regeneron, Amgen, Lamb Research, the old Netflix in here, KLAC, Maxim. So the chip stocks did great. That's what's holding up the NASDAQ. Even though when you sort by net loss, by far you have Google up here, Charter Communications, Amazon, and so on. But as you see, an $800 stock being down $4 is just nothing in here. So just keep in mind how that works. So right now, NASDAQ up 975, ES is down 550, Russell down 690. You have the bonds up 19 today, the notes up just a bit, and you have the Dow Industrials down a whopping $20. Not a lot to write home about. S&P down all of four, uh, NASDAQ, like I said, up four, and uh, the transport's down all of 27. Very curious is good earnings by American Air. And the airlines are getting hit today. And I'm very curious if that's going to affect the overall market next week. We'll have to see. Dollar today, as you see in here, up slightly. But silver is the standout, up 28 cents in here. Gold only up all the 20 cents. So actually, silver, which is at hundredth, a hundredth of the price. Uh, you know, uh, is uh, basically up more than gold is absolutely fascinating in there. I find that kind of stuff sort of interesting. Uh, yeah, the advanced decline all day has been stuck around minus 600. You have the VIX today. When you have a narrow range, you get the VIX to go down again. And the UVXY down $7 in the last three days. Really nasty in there. You have the DE Dow doing nothing. And the Chinese market is going to be closed for the uh, week for a holiday. So where are we going here? Number one, like I said, ES is stuck in a range. NASDAQ stuck in a range. And I'll tell you, NASDAQ holding up great considering Google. This is what I'm watching. Is this finally going to work where you got a bear flag that works? The problem is, and we teach this all the time on simpler stocks, when you get a bear flag on, an, on a chart here and the time frame next time frame up, where everything is above every moving average, you have to be real dubious of these. What I've seen with this, when you get a bearish signal on an hourly chart, when the daily chart looks this good, the bearish trades work for just a shallow sell-off. The bullish charts work for a massive rally. So just keep that in mind if you think you should bet the farm on the short side. I don't think you should yet whatsoever. On the other hand, you have things like American Air with a massive reversal today. I love big old red candles. And I have to tell you, that's a stock, that group, that might be ripe for shorting next week. So to let you know, we still have the $7.30 day trial. That includes our chat room when I'm on live from 9 to 10 in the morning. You get the premium videos, a lot more in depth than what you're hearing now. Email alerts. I post at least six stock ideas and six index charts I'm watching every morning or late at night. Idea is the overall market is the most important perspective to decide how to trade the, the individual stocks. I also try to post unusual ac option activity when I see it, but I've been posting it actually in the live videos. 
in the premium videos because I think it's extremely important to have a perspective of why I'm bringing up those trades in the first place. I found that a lot of people were just seeing the actual email alert and just going in blind, so to speak, just buying a put or buying a call instead of hearing the perspective of how I was mentioning the trade. So now I've been showing in the videos, been spending a lot more time on it. I've gotten some great feedback. So I hope everybody has a great weekend. Look forward to talking to you next week. And thanks for joining me.